Hey everybody, welcome back. David Eon here and doing another Mego discussion, another Mego wish list. As you know, Mego is back and Mego loves nostalgia. They love reaching back and doing action figures based on characters and shows from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And I love that. And I have a short little wish list of figures that I would like to see. And I did this before. I did one for 70s movies and I did one for 70s television shows. And today I'm doing one for 80s films. And it's a top 10 list. However, 80, the 80s had a lot of really great films. This could very easily turn into a top 100 list. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to isolate it to 10. And remember, this is all in good fun. So if I say one you don't like and you have one that you really like, just tell me, tell us about it in the comment section down below. And if I look like I have paint on me, it's because I've been painting. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to pick some things that are not quite so obvious, like Raiders of the Lost Ark, which has been done over and over and over, or The Karate Kid, which is actually being redone by NECA right now, or The Gremlins, something like that. Other, figure, other figures of 80s films that maybe aren't so obvious or maybe people have kind of forgotten about, that might be really fun because they were really good or really fun films. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's we'll start number one, Cannonball Run. Who remembers Cannonball Run? June 19th, 1981. Burt Reynolds starring as J.J. McClure, Dom DeLuise as Victor Prinzi, a.k.a. Captain Chaos. Who can, who can forget the Captain Chaos played by Dom DeLuise? That was hilarious. It had a, a lot of star power in this film. Farrah Fawcett, Roger Moore, a very young Jackie Chan, Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr. Um, and who can forget Jack Elam as the creepy doctor in the ambulance? That was hilarious. I would love to see a figure of the doctor of all things. And this was a huge box office success. This was a big film that people had forgotten that was actually based on an actual event. There was or used to be a cannonball run, which is an illegal outlaw road race that began in Connecticut and ended in California and all of the stuff that you see in that film the, the ambulance the two priests that all really happened in the actual races and they just took crazy stuff from the races and translated it into the film that all it, it was a true story almost so that's hilarious my next pick is The Shining which came out July 13th, 1980, starring Jack Nicholson as Jack Torrance and Shelley Duvall as his wife. Sharp contrast from when she was in Popeye, <laughs> but Shelley Duvall is the wife, Jack Nicholson is Jack Torrance. There's a lot of potential here as well. And as far as action figures, I think they've only been done by Funko. Funko Pops and Funko Dorbs. It would be interesting. You could do uh, Jack with his axe, Jack frozen to death. There's some potential with this film for a lot of interesting action figures. Number three, Big Trouble in Little China, one of my all-time favorite 80s films. July 2nd, 1986, starring Kurt Russell, who was Mr. 80s. Kurt Russell was in a lot of great films in the 80s, as Jack Burton. I, I love this movie, and the characters, don't they very strongly resemble Mortal Kombat? Just saying, a lot of interesting characters in this film that could be made into action figures. Number four, Kurt Russell again, Escape from New York, July 10th, 1981. Kurt Russell as Snake Plissken, one of my favorite movie characters, set in the distant future of 1997. 1997. Didn't quite do, go down like that, although it would have been interesting if it did. I would love to see, and I know that this figure has been done. It's been done as a reaction figure. It's been done as a 1-6 scale figure by uh, Sideshow. It'd be interesting to see how they did it as a Mego figure. Number five, here's one I don't think has ever been done in action figure form. The Three Amigos, December 12, 1986. Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and Martin Short as Lucky Day, Dusty Bottoms, and Ned Niederlander. Yes, I can draw that fast, Ned Niederlander. I love this film. It's one of those kind of films that still holds up even today. You know, while all three of them are still alive, I'd love to see them do a sequel to it. Wouldn't that be interesting? Number six, another one of my all-time favorite 80s films, The Last Dragon. Who, re who remembers this film? Does anybody out there remember this? March 22nd, 1985, with 
Tamak, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, as Bruce Leroy and Julius Kari as Show Nuff. When I ask who's the master, you say Show Nuff. I love the villains in this film. Absolutely hilarious. It's a good story. It's funny. It's fun to watch. I could watch this film over and over again. I would love to see figures of this. Now, number seven, I'm kind of going off of what I said I wanted to on this one because this one is Scarface. This is one a lot of people probably would call out for an action figure. It's been done a few times. This film came out December 9th, 1983, and of course starred Al Pacino in one of his best roles as Tony Montoya. But there are a lot of characterizations in this film. There's a lot of different outfits that he wore that have never been done. They always do him in the white suit when they do an action figure. I've never seen him. Wouldn't you like to see him as a Mego figure in the blue suit with the arm sling and the pistol with the silencer on it? I think that would be cool. You could do one with him with the chainsaw. <laughs> There's a lot of potential in this film that has never been touched on in an action figure. Number eight, Roddy Piper's best film that he ever starred in, They Live, November 4th, 1988. Roddy Piper as nada, because he didn't exist, and Keith David is Frank. And who can forget the aliens in this movie? This is a classic 80s film. One of the best from the 80s. Love to see it in action figures. I know that NECA is supposed to be doing it. And I know that Reaction is doing it. I would love to see it as Amigo. Number 9. The Blues Brothers. June 20th, 1980. Has this one ever been done in action figures? I'm not sure. John Belushi is Jake Blues and Dan Aykroyd is Elwood Blues in one of Dan Aykroyd's best films. Think Tupac. I'm thinking Tupac with these, maybe even with the car. Vimigo has not gone to making vehicles yet, but there's potential there. I would love to see the Blues Brothers in a Tupac with the car. And number 10, Stir Crazy. Who remembers this? December 12th, 1980, starring Gene Wilder as Skip Donahue and Richard Pryor as Harry Monroe. This is probably one of the best films those two did together. I love Stir Crazy. It is hilarious. There's a lot of potential with this film because they had on all sorts of different outfits. They were rodeo outfits, prison outfits, chicken outfits, and also it had uh, Erland Van Lith de Jude, that's a long name, as Grossberger. You remember Grossberger? That was hilarious. D directed by Sidney Pontier, did you know that? 125 year prison sentence after being framed for bank robbery. I, I love this movie and I would love to see it as figures. And I don't think there is an action figure out there of Richard Pryor, is there? And, you know, I, I gotta keep going, I gotta do another one. The Running Man. People have done a lot of action figures of Schwarzenegger, but mostly of The Terminator. Has anyone ever done The Running Man? November 13th, 1987, one of his biggest films from the 80s. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Ben Richards, Richard Dawson was in this as Damon Killian, and guess what, Erlen Van Lith de Jude was in this one as well. A lot of crazy looking characters in this movie. Jesse the Body Venture also starred in this film. I would love to see figures from this movie. Alright, you know, you got me. I gotta do one more. I gotta do one more. I, lo I love 80s movies. I can't help myself. 12. And I'll stop there, okay? And then if you have any more, you can put it in the comment section down below. Blind Fury. Do you remember this movie? Blind Fury came out August 17th, 1989, starring Rutger Hauer. Rutger Hauer, who was wounded in an explosion, blinded in Vietnam, and found by a tribe of Vietnamese people in a village, and nursed back to health, and trained to use his other senses since his eyes didn't work anymore, and then trained as a master swordsman, comes back to the States and gets into it with drug dealers. Absolutely fun movie to watch. I could watch uh, Blind Fury over and over. That movie is fantastic. I loved it as a, as a kid growing up. I would watch it right now if it was on. That movie was fantastic. So what do you think? Do you like the list? What on that list really caught your attention when you were like, damn, I would love to see that as Amigo. Tell me about it in the comment section down below. What would you add? What 80s movie would you sit there and say, man, you know what else I would like to see as Amigo? Tell me about it in the comment section down below. I'd love to see it. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other videos. I do a lot more than just making up lists. So, oh, and also find me on Instagram. Open by chance on Instagram. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.